Welcome back to the final part of our epic Next.js tutorial, where we're going to take a look how to take our project that we built, which summarizes YouTube videos and deploy it to our Strapi cloud. That's what we're going to cover in this video. And in the second part of this video, we're going to take a look how to deploy our front end to Vercel. So without any ado, let's jump right into it. And of course, to follow along with this video, you will find a link in the description below covering the outline that we're going to be using, which is going to be this blog post. You could use it as reference that's going to walk us through all the basic steps. Now, when preparing this video, I went ahead and started from scratch where I showed you how to set up your Strapi Cloud account, as well as how to set up your Vercel account if you don't have one. So please reference the blog post to do that. But I am going to give you a quick overview of how to get started. We're going to start at strapi.io website and we're going to click on this cloud button to get started. You could try Strapi Cloud for 14 days, absolutely free, no credit card required. And we're going to use this as a deployment method because it is the easiest one. You don't have to worry about database or file storage or CDN or email. All of that is included in Strapi Cloud and it's easy to get started. Obviously, there's many ways to deploy a project. We're going to go with the simplest one to sign in or sign up. You could start with any one of these providers, including GitHub, GitLab, or even your Gmail. I'm going to go ahead and log in with GitHub. If you already have created an account, you're going to be greeted with the admin area. But if it's your first time signing up, you're going to be greeted with a screen that's going to ask you to authorize Strapi Cloud with your GitHub. Once you get past that, you're going to be back to the same screen that we are on now. Before creating a project, let's make sure that we committed all our latest changes to our GitHub. In my terminal, if I do ls, you see that we have both our backend and frontend in the same folder. I decided to commit both the frontend and the backend of the project into one repo, but you could keep them separately. We are going to deploy our backend to Strapi Cloud and our frontend to Vercel. The first thing I'm going to do is just do get status and make sure that we don't have any un saved commits. My app is up to date, so I can go ahead and commit it to GitHub, which I already have done. If you haven't, make sure you commit your changes and push them to GitHub. Taking a look at my repo, I already committed my changes and I'm ready to go. So navigating back to our Strapi Cloud admin, we're going to go ahead and click create new project. Now I already used up my free plan, but if you're new to Strapi Cloud, you're going to have a free option available. You can find the instructions on the complimentary blog post that's going to be linked in the description below. Once clicking the create project button, you're going to be greeted with this page. You'll be able to try Strapi Cloud for free for 14 days. Go ahead, click on the create my project button. Once you start your free trial, you're going to be greeted with the screen where you need to connect your Git repo to your project. Go ahead, click the GitHub button. It's going to walk you through the steps. The most important part, we're going to have to specify our GitHub account and the repository that we want to point. I already did this when I wrote this blog, but I'm gonna do it again while walking you through the steps in this video. The only difference is, is that I no longer have a free account, so I'm gonna go with a developer plan. I'm gonna scroll down, and instead of using a template, we're just gonna to point to our repo. I'm gonna select Paul Braslavsky, which is my GitHub, and my repository, which is Strapi and Next Deploy. Once that's all set, you could go ahead and give your project a display name. I'm going to say YT Summarizer. It's in our main branch, and I'm going to choose the region of New York. Most important part here, I'm going to click on Show Advanced Settings because I want to make sure that we're pointing just to our backend folder. So I'm going to type backend. And if you're wondering where I'm getting this from, when you take a look at the repo, we have two folders. Our backend is where our Strapi application lives, and our frontend this is where our Next.js application resides. If you had environmental variables to add, you would do it here, but we don't have any to add, so I'm just gonna say continue to billing. Again, if you're using the free trial, your screen is gonna look different. Again, because I already used my free trial, when you're trying Strapi Cloud for your first time, you're going to be greeted with this screen, but the steps are going to be the same. So as you continue through the steps and you added all your information for your GitHub name and your repository, select your region, go ahead and click the create project button. You will be greeted with the project creation screen and then it's going to redirect you 
to the project deploy details where you will see the real-time build logs for your project. And here I am in my deployment page, as you could see my application is building and I could see the real-time logs to see what is happening. So we'll be back in just a moment once this is done. Once everything is deployed, you're going to see this visit app button. If you click on it, it should take you to the Strapi admin sign up. If you see not found, just give it a few minutes to let all the changes propagate. So go ahead and create your first admin user. I'm going to say Paul Bratz and make sure you provide super secure password since this project is deployed to the web and click let's get started. You're going to be greeted with the Strapi admin. If you take a look at your content manager, you're gonna see that you don't have any summaries, you don't have any users, and you don't have your data that we have in our local application. So what I'm gonna show you right now is how to do initial seed with your initial data from your application that you've been working with in development. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to navigate to settings, go to transfer tokens, and I'm gonna create a new transfer token. I'm gonna just call it seed, seeding initial data. You could give the description of whatever you like. I'm just gonna limit it to seven days. And because I'm going to be pushing data, I just wanna say push and click save. We're gonna come back to this API token and our URL in just a moment. But in your terminal, let's navigate to our Strapi backend folder and we're going to run yarn Strapi help transfer. This is gonna go ahead and show all the different options that we have available to us using our transfer command. The two things we have to keep in mind is we're going to use the to flag to provide the destination URL. And then we're going to use dash dash force to automatically answer yes for any initial warnings that we may have. Because Strapi Cloud has a pro plan and a team plan, it does have certain features. So when we do initial data seed, it's gonna say that certain schema items don't exist because they're only applicable to team plans. So we're just gonna use this force flag to just automatically answer yes to that prompt. So now that we're ready, let's type yarn Strapi transfer. We're gonna do dash dash force and we're gonna do dash dash two. And for dash dash two, we're going to provide our strappy URL for our deployed project, including slash admin. I'm gonna go ahead and paste it after the two flag and click enter. This is gonna go ahead and tell us that we need the transfer token. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the transfer token that we have, save for extra good measure. And let's go ahead and paste it in. Once you paste everything in and click enter, it's gonna go ahead and do its magic. Notice how we had that warning that I mentioned before, we view workflow feature does not exist on source, which is perfectly fine. And notice because we used force, it automatically answered yes. And now it's going ahead and pushing all of our local data from our Strapi local instance to our Strapi cloud. And once everything is transferred, if we go back to our Strapi cloud account and go to our content manager, you're gonna notice that we have all of our summaries from our project that was in development. We have our test users, we have our global data, and we have our homepage data. And most importantly, we have all the necessary settings that were set for us. For instance, for roles, if we go to authenticate it, you could see that we have all these settings already clicked and checked for us, which is awesome. So now that we deployed our Strapi application, let's go ahead and in the second part of this video, deploy our front end to Vercel. I'll see you in the next one.